This is insane. This is the most amount of gold I've ever prospected for outside of a river. First band of the shop. Wow. <laughs> good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. I'm out here in California visiting Martin at the Gold Bay Pay Dirt facility. Now, whenever I'm handling gold, sometimes I'll drop a piece or two on the floor. But since there is so much more gold that gets processed Ouch. here for their pay dirt bags, there has to be a lot of gold here. So, <laughs> oh, f me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find some candy and band-aids. That one hurt. So we're here in the shop, Gold Bay shop. This is where we handle most of the pay dirt. We keep dropping gold on the floor. I thought I would wait and I told everyone not to touch the floor. Look, there's a little flake here. <laughs> there's a picker right there. There's gold pretty much everywhere on this floor because this is where we handle most of the pay dirt. Right now I'm gonna go get the vacuum, the broom, and we're gonna get busy. So the first thing that we're gonna do is remove most of the stuff that's in here so I can come in with a broom and sweep everything into a pile. Martin is then gonna come in here with a vacuum dredge and suck up everything that I miss because I'm really allergic to dust and vacuums create a lot of dust. Do you think there'll be gold in this? Oh definitely. For sure there is a lot of gold in there. This is gonna be fun. There are so many little hiding spots gold could easily get trapped into and we're gonna find them. There's gotta be some pieces underneath there. Like oh look it there's one right there. That's cool. I'm very excited. This is the second best area of the house. So we'll see how much gold we can find in here. I wasn't too sure what to expect today, but so far there's gold in them dar floors. So this is pretty funny. I saw this big dent in the pavement here and I knew there has to be some material inside. So I got this toothbrush, started brushing away at it. And sure enough, there is a nice piece of gold sitting right in the bottom there. <laughs> Ooh, candy. Yeah, see, a picker right there, a piece of gold right there, right there, right there. Freaking cool. So the next step now is to use this vacuum. But what I noticed that this vacuum dredge has a lot of riffles in it. So when we do the clean out, we're gonna have to be really careful we don't lose any gold in there. I can hear the gold coming up the dredge. One by one, corner by corner, we suck up everything. I had to stop the vacuum for a sec. I just found a nice nugget, quartz specimen. Jeez. Another nugget right there, right there. Picker right there, right there. This place is freaking loaded. Ow. Oh. Ow. Ugh. Mm, nasty. <laughs> it looks like a little snake. Just spit down it. So this looks pretty clean to me. However, I do have another surprise for you. Before I got here, they were using a different vacuum cleaner and never emptied the content of it. That vacuum cleaner cleaned the shop for over a year. So <laughs> yesterday, I really? put all the content of that vacuum in one bag. Let me get it for you. Oh my goodness. This is one year or more worth wow. of Gold Bay floor dirt. For sure, there's gonna be pieces of gold nobody in here. Nobody panned it, nobody picked up a piece of gold from it. This is intact, this so is you've over been, a year. So you've been saving this for a video like this, right? Yeah, exactly. Because I knew there was gonna be a lot of gold, but just oh my realized God. that the vacuum on the other side had a year <laughs> worth. I love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was awkward. That is gonna be sweet. How heavy is that? Like five, seven pounds of dirt. So if we found the gold that we found today, which was like, what, a couple months or something like that? Yeah, Six, it was a couple months. Something worth. like that, that's a year's worth. There has, to, there has to be more gold in there. There has to be. I would put <laughs> all, my all my money on that bag. Okay, so let's do it, let's do it. So now we're in the kitchen where supposedly, supposedly, all of the gold gets weighed. Now since I've been staying here, I've already noticed a few pieces of gold on the floor, so let's begin. So first things first, obviously take everything off the floor, that is unless you're already seeing gold. Look at this. All that crap. Nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, of course it makes sense that there's gold in there. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that one. You got a piece right there, all in this crack. Let's take this mat off here. Oop, Oop, there's some on the scale too, hold on. Oh. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, I have a toothbrush right here. I guess sweep all this out into a pile and then we're just gonna get the vacuum and suck it. Oh, you know what? Let's open the table here. Oh wow, oh that's easier. And then we'll put the bowl down here. And when you get to the end of each crack, it's gonna fall in okay. the bowl and then we're gonna pan the bowl. Let's put it in here, not the bowl. Okay. Saves you from doing dishes. Look at that crevice. Ooh. 
It's actually pretty funny. It's actually more gold than when I panned with you all day in the creek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so last time I did this was in the blue room back at my old place where I used to live. And I always constantly drop gold there, not on purpose, but I was just, I just ended up doing that often. So, so this is a uh, number two of that type of video. And I'm gonna say there's probably gonna be more gold here, obviously, than my little blue room. Gosh, you really wanna do dishes, don't you? Look at all that, yeah. We almost have a picker here. Uh, don't actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was checking out this beautiful bismuth over here. And we found another little picker right here. That will go. So that's done. Now, uh, oh, oh. This is more. Oh, oh. <laughs> right here. More pieces of gold. Oh my god, there was, there was a little pocket in the corner. Oh boy. It's like crevicing. So now that we're done the table, we're gonna get it out of here and then we're gonna work on the floor and all its beauty. I am a fairy tale. Let's get a first look at the floor here. There's some copper pellets, hair, some dust, some food, obviously gold. I'm just seeing if I can see any in this crevice here. <gasps> Woo! Bird. There's one right there, right underneath one of the, I guess one of the chair rugs. Finally, we're back to sweeping to prep for dredging. There's a nice piece right there, another one right there, under all this floor moss. Yeah, there's one right there. Oh my God, come here, come here. Look at that figure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Shrimp soup, shrimp potatoes, shrimp salad, shrimp corn. So I was just flicking everything out of this little crack and I just fluck out this. That's probably the biggest piece of kitchen gold that I've seen oh, yet. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. After a good 30 minutes of dredging, <laughs> it was time to start panning. That's kind of fun. Okay, so what I've done here is separate the shop dirt from the kitchen dirt and then the table dirt. We're gonna pan each one of these separately, see what kind of gold is in there. At the very end, weigh it all and then hopefully have a very good reveal. Hello? So I thought I'd start off with the table gold first because this is gonna be the quickest one to pan through and then uh, we'll get to the, the better stuff. A little bit of dish soap to stop the gold from floating. This is gonna be the quickest pan in the world. Look, we're already done. <laughs> oh wow. That's pretty good. That's just the table crack? That's just the table crack. Wow, better than most of my days on the creek. So we're gonna weigh this gold at the very end of the video. So just stick around to find out how much gold we found in each place. Some of Martin's hairs in this as well. Okay, here's what Elora calls the dippy dippy. Oh, that's... We have to take our time with each pan because there is a lot of fine gold and panning in a small area like this causes a lot of turbulent water. Oh wow, look, we've already made money. We found 10 sensory doodles. So we've gone outside because of the reflection is better. Oh my. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that is just from the kitchen floor. I did not actually expect to find that. Wow. That is a lot of gold to find in the kitchen. So we have the table, the kitchen floor, and now for the shop. So this is the last pan of the day, also where the most amount of material was found. Do you guys think there's gonna be more gold in the shop material, or do you guys think we recovered most of it already? So Martin just found a king of clubs in his uh, big pan of fuzz. So since there's so much material in here, we're just gonna divide it into two and make it easier to pan out. <laughs> He just found the diamonds, so now we have pocket kings. Oh, it looks so nasty. It looks like chocolate milk with powder on the top. Right there. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I should leave it in the pan. We'll do one nice reveal. <laughs> it's loaded with pickers. This is all gold. All right, it's very easy to get distracted by all the gold, but let's get through this. So Martin just got down to the cons, and I gotta say, this is insane. Oh my, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, what? Wow. <laughs> there are nuggets in there. That is in... There's nuggets, pickers, fines, flakes. For sure, there is over an ounce just in this pan. <laughs> that is nuts. So I think it's clear to me that most of the big pieces of gold were found in the whole year that that bag was being saved. But either way, all this came from the floor of the shop and 
I'm pretty impressed. I thought we were gonna find seven to 10 grams in total. That was my guess. There's over 30 grams in the first pan of the shot. Here we go, the final and last pan. I don't see anything yet. Oh, it's so gross. So I really hope he finds more gold than me, but I doubt it. He's got pretty big shoes to fill after what I just panned, which was over an ounce. Like this feels heavy. Just this feels way heavier than what material is in here. Do you think Dave's gonna let us keep this gold? I hope so. So I've been gold panning long enough to know that the weight of this pan with the amount of material that's in here and that sound is an indication that there's something heavy in here. So for sure there's some stuff in here. Like look at that. I can already see a lot of lead showing up, but I can also see a lot of gold showing up. So we do have a chance that we're gonna find as much gold as the last one, or maybe more. Here's the reveal, baby. No Oh way. my Thank God. God. <laughs> it's almost equal. Wow. Still, that may not be more than what we just found, but that's still, Look at all that fine gold. It's like a carpet of fine gold. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's wow. still gotta be at least 20 grams. That is insane. I would say 15 to 20 at least. Jesus. There's some more in there. So, I never ever thought that you could find this much gold on the floor of a shop. Now, mind you, like I was saying earlier, so much more gold than this gets processed, so it's very easy to lose a few flakes. But over time, those few flakes obviously add up. So I think every year there should be a big massive cleanup and all the gold should go to me. Okay, so it's been three hours later. As you can see, it's already getting dark outside and we just finished cleaning the last bit of gold. Check it out. So pan number one, what was on the table? Not bad. I'm thinking maybe half a gram if we're lucky. I'm not sure. We'll see. So this is looking way better. What we found on the kitchen floor. You know what? That is more gold than I think I've ever dropped. And that's saying a lot. I'm gonna guess maybe a gram and a half. And of course, what we found in the shop, that is absolute, like I am lost, for, <laughs> I'm lost for words. That is a lot more gold than I thought there'd be. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I just can't wait to weigh this. And look, we still even have a pan of gold that's not quite cleaned up yet, but I think we're gonna save that till later. Now there are some pieces in here that have more quartz than gold. So those I think we'll just weigh separately. So what's next? So let's dry every pan and put it on the scale. So I just poured out all the gold from that last pan and I noticed a little diamond. It's probably fake, but kind of neat how I spotted it now. Okay, moment of tooth. We're all ready. We have all the gold pieces organized, including some pieces that have more quartz than gold. We'll weigh that after. Martin, do you want to do the honors? Yes. So that is from the crack of the table. I'm gonna guess 0 0.1. 0 0.4. 0 0.4, okay. Let's see. 12 ounces. 0.3. Oh, so, <laughs> on the dot. Yo, you're actually closer Ooh. than I was. All right, cool. Okay, this is what was on the kitchen floor. Two grams, I'm gonna guess two grams. 2.1. Two. 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 <laughs> I changed my mind. Oh, just, <laughs> just put it just on. The, just the three grams. Three grams? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna say it's two. still 2.1? 2.1. <laughs> yeah, high five. Yes. Nice. On the I know nose. me gold. You know it. <laughs> okay. Okay. What we've all been waiting for. Wow, that's actually pretty heavy. What do you think is in here, man? My guess is I'm going to say, I'm going to guess 27 grams. There probably is more than that in there. I'm going to say closer to 40 grams. You think it's over an ounce? I actually you know oh, yeah. that. It is over an ounce. Okay. Um, one ounce, 10 grams. So that's 41 grams. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 35 grams, so just over an ounce. 40 grams. 35 and 40, all right. Wow. Here, move your hand, move this hand. Keep over with this, oh, that's fine. 21 <laughs> grams. Get all the, oh. <laughs> what is that? 51! <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow! 0.6. And just for funsies, these more quartz than gold specimens, it's gonna be like, yeah. And then this one's 12 ounces for sure. Ah, 0.65. Cool. Now we're gonna do 
all the gold together. Some of you guys can probably calculate what the weight's gonna be before I reveal this, but all of us want to see all the gold get on there anyway. On this one? Yeah, might as well. All right. Is it less than what we found? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see this was. Oh my goodness. That is just so satisfying. This reminds me of Nome, Alaska. It's already more gold than I found in my life. Yeah, and this is, we didn't even leave the house. All well, I had to do was sweep the floor. <laughs> Jeez. Way to go, my friend. Good job. Heck yeah, it was your idea. Thank you, Martin. Yes. Wow, I couldn't have done this without you. So yeah, everything that's in here, plus that for sure it would be over two ounces. We even have a little bit of gold that's still in here. <laughs> and probably some gold on my feet because I've been in bare feet all day. So I just got this gold wet again so I can take a few beautiful photos and just show you guys again how much gold this is. That is just so insane. We found that on the floor. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. Please don't hesitate to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more gold and treasure related videos. Big shout out to Dave at Gold Bay Pater and Martin from Martin's Gold Adventures for making this video possible. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until next one, black screen with logo. That was great. <laughs>